I've got to say, Paul, I visit many, many machine shops and I don't see many machines like this around, do you? Okay. No, no, you don't see a lot of machine shops with these in, no. Where, where is the market for a machine of this ilk, Paul? I mean, is there a big demand for it? Nuclear, aerospace, that sort of area, the large end of the oil industry. Uh, big engine, uh, engine blocks, diesel engines? Well, predominantly you'd see these in shipbuilding companies in the uh, Far East. I mean, it, seeing it in action and seeing it move really does... Uh, yeah, it does, it does show you engineering quality, doesn't it? Definitely, without a doubt. And, and these guys as manufacturers, is this, um, is this just one of many models within this um, tracks range? It is. I mean, this one does 7 metres uh, in X, um, 2.5 metres in Z, and 13.50 in Y. But we can have these up to 20 metres in X. OK, and, and what about that, that head that we're actually seeing there? Where, what's that? Um, what's, what, what's the positioning of that? Is that a, a, a five-axis head? It is. That one is a 0 0.001 by 0 0.001 movement head. Right. And the tool and the tool changer then is a right round the back. Does that mean that you've got the modularity with it, so you can you can spec it up to have however many tools you want? Exactly that. From 24 up to 60 tools and beyond. And beyond that. And th this is obviously your cabin area. So this is where your operator is going to stand, fully protected, health and safety compliant and all that? 100%, yes. And when you buy the machine then, do you buy um, what we see here as the, as, the, as the base of the machine and the column? This is kind of like, what, I know it's probably two piece, but we call it one piece of the purchase. And then you buy this bed here, which we can see in camera shot now. Correct, you either buy a solid bed or you can buy two pieces, three pieces, one could be a built-in rotary table and the three pieces can come together and make one full bed. And this would, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think as well of the, the foundations and the infrastructure or what you have to put in place in your machine shop to actually install something like this. Is there a lot of work in that as well? The machine purchase one thing but what you have to do to get it in is something else? Exactly, I mean the build time on this would be one month plus you've got the foundations to put in there because you can't just put this in anywhere you need to have the right foundations to keep the accuracy and you say we said this is seven meters but did you say again it can go up to you got up to 20 meters you can get up to 20 meters in this variant of machine and i think that what we see uh here as well is a good demonstration of the of the parts and the application if we move up let's move along here um this is actually uh, reminiscent for me of some something I used to do when I came out of my apprenticeship, ma machining uh, parts this size and castings this size. But I suppose if you had a 20 metre bed, it would mean you could get two of these on or three of these on or, or more, more parts, couldn't you? Exactly, yeah. I mean, you know, this could quite easily be a, a marine engine casting, without a doubt. And with things like and with with boring and, and 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 what you've got here, the accuracy of the machine is important as well. What what's the you know if you were challenged with a question about the Keyhoon Tracks machine, uh, you know are there are they an accurate product? Are they going to you know you talk about 20 meters in a in an X axis from one end to the other? Are you going to be able to maintain maintain tight tolerances? Absolutely. Again, but the foundations are key to that. The build quality of the machine, the linear guideways, and the uh, linear scales. They are, they are a, a manufacturer that we've seen over the course of today, actually. There's a, a, a vast array of solutions. Uh, finishing here on, on this table, you did start earlier by talking about having these as options. Um, this one here is obviously X as, X as an extra axis, doesn't it? So you can turn your component around. Correct, and you can either sit it on a bed or have it part of the bed as a centrepiece or at one end. And you can, it's modular, you just build it up to how you want it to be. So it could be that you do large components, medium size and small components. And the machine can do all those three things for you. This, this uh, for, for the UK market, I'm, I'm trying to think of where, where it would fit. But I think like you said, nuclear, marine industry, they're, they're really the sorts of areas where you'd have a machine of this size, of this strength, of this sort of capability, isn't it? Correct, in the large heavy engineering, which, you know, Britain used to be the market leader with. And if that's you, then you can uh, learn more about these Keyhung machines. Uh, you can visit Ward High Tech's website or contact them directly uh, in Sheffield. We'll put the details on the screen below. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, Paul.